Dr Sarah Wollaston. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I warmly congratulate the Justice Secretary on having his vision to have every offender met at the prison gates with somewhere to live and a proper package of support. We've certainly seen a pilot from the last government to give him £46 and little else and seen where that's yeah, ended up. Yeah. But can I ask the Secretary to the State to outline to the House the number of offenders who have problems with alcohol and to reassure me that alcohol will be given equal priority as drugs as offenders leave prison? Well, I mean, the, 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 the truth is, well, I can say to my honourable friend that around three quarters of prisoners either have an addiction problem, a mental health problem, or both. Uh, and around half prisoners have had some form of addiction problem. Uh, and so this is a very real challenge for us. Uh, it is something my colleagues in the Home Office are looking at closely as well. There are new mechanisms both to monitor and help and support those with alcohol problems. Uh, I do accept that this is a real issue, and it's an issue that I would hope and expect the mentors working with prisoners to address as they do their work alongside people who do have an addiction challenge.